So hello, I'm Mr Goldie and I want to talk to you about the art department at Dawnston. So there are two art teachers at Dawnston, myself and Mrs Taylor, and we're going to teach you lots of different ways of drawing, lots of different ways of using different materials. So our key aim is to promote the love of drawing. If that's all we do by the time you get to year nine, is to encourage you to draw at home, to enjoy drawing, and to not be afraid of making mistakes, then we feel like we've done what we set out to do. So when you arrive with us in year seven, we start with some drawing workshops. And one of the things we look at first is different ways of drawing. So this is a student's work here, which is a good example. So that's using tonal work and line work. And we teach you what are called the formal elements. And those are the building blocks of art. So we even go right back to the basics of how to hold a pencil. So no matter what you've been taught at primary school, and primary school is very different to secondary school um, art experience. So we give you all the basics, so you don't need to be worried if you're a bit unsure of your art skills at the moment. We would give you everything you need. In fact, one of our favourite quotes is by an artist called Picasso. And he said, learn the rules like a pro so you can break them. Like an artist and we've adopted that in the art department we will help you to learn how to use lots of tools lots of materials so as you get more confident you will know how to break them and use them in different ways and that's what he means by breaking the rules it's being creative in the way that you use those materials so what are the projects that we get you to do at home in the spring term after you've done the drawing workshops is to research an artist so these students here looked at the artist Suzanne and then they practiced drawing on a canvas or on card again using different materials to encourage them in their use of painting because painting is also a very different skill to drawing and as you can see we've got some very good results here and that again will help you as you move towards your GCSE studies um, we also look at different cultures. So we look at Mexican and Brazilian culture in year seven. And one of the things we get you to do is to create a sugar skull in clay. And then you decorate that in the style of the artist that we're looking at. So we're not just going to stick to drawing. As again, we use a lot of different materials. So hopefully there's something there that you can get to grips with and really enjoy. So if drawing is difficult for you, you might love clay work. If clay work is difficult for you, you may enjoy using digital media. As we move into the summer term, you will then create a stop motion character. So you'll make a three dimensional character, you will design that character, and then you will work in teams to animate that character. So that's a bit of an overview of what year seven would look like. And then we build upon those skills in year eight, year nine, year 10 and 11, if you choose art at key stage four. In terms of our reassessure work, we simply look at four progress objectives, which are generating, how do you come up with your ideas, making, how well can you use those materials in creative ways, evaluating, so how well can you talk about your own artwork and other people's artwork, and knowledge, so just giving you that key information, like the formal elements, like colour, like composition, so that you can create amazing pieces of artwork. So we'd love to see you at Dunstan. We know you would have a good time in the art department. So we look forward to seeing you soon.